Good morning, class. I hope you had a really good two days already at home learning, spending a little extra time with mom and dad. Hope you're being good. Want those puffy clouds, right? Even at home, you can earn your own puffy clouds towards something special. Well, today, I'm not wearing my green. St. Patrick's Day is over, and we had a great time eating corned beef and cabbage. Did you try some? I hope you try new things, just like in Green Egg and Ham. He was able to try something new and he loved it. So maybe you can try something new today. Today I'm wearing my red shirt to remind us of all the fun times that we had on our Valentine's Day party. I'm missing you guys very much, but don't stop the learning just because you're at home. Okay? So let's see, what day is it today? We always want to start off figuring out what day of the week it is. So today, we're going to see. We have a large number, and it has two digits. So I'm gonna cover that one big one up. What number do you see? Did you say one? Good job, you know that one, it's easy peasy. Let's cover up the first digit and up. Oh, it's our double bubble, it's an eight. When we put it together, it makes 18. Hmm. Should I put my 18 under the 15? No. Should I put it under my 14? No. Goes in a row, right? I'm going to put it after 15, 16, 17, 18. Good job. Can you help me count up to 18? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, good job, good job. Now we need to see what day of the week it is. So why don't you help me with our day of the week song? Okay, we're gonna start off on our first day Sunday. Can you do our claps with me for Adam's family? Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So let's take our little pointer or take your finger on your own calendar. We're going to point at the number 18 and we're going to go all the way up and we need to stop on that date. Ready? Everyone repeat after me. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Stop. Today is March 18th. And it is Wednesday. It's usually one of our big days, but I'm so happy to see all your pictures at home. It's really encouraging to see all of our friends watching the videos, working really hard, using their flashcards. So today we are going to spend a lot of time on working on counting. So we have a special Dr. Seuss book today, but before we read it, let's go over our numbers just to make sure that we know what numbers they are gonna mix them all up. I'm gonna get a little crazy. Tell me if you know this number. <gasps> what number is that? Zero. You're right. Show me zero. Nothing. No fingers. Zero. Zero cookies. Makes Miss Brian sad. All right. How about this one? <gasps> what number is that? Did you say three? Can you show me three? One, two, three. Good job. How about this one? I like this number. You're right, it's the number five. I like the number five because you get to put up all fingers on one hand. But why don't you count with me to double check? One, two, three, four, five. So cool. Ooh, how about this number. Did you say four? 
I know you're so smart. Can you show me four fingers? One, two, three, four. You're terrific. Oh, we have a double bubble. Double bubble. Right? We have a little bubble on top and a little bubble on the bottom. That makes our eight. Good job. Don't forget to practice your numbers at home. Mom and dad can help you today to practice writing them the correct way. Oh, this number, this number isn't too big, but I like this number because it always works out with a pair. It's a number two. Can you show me your number two? One, two. Good job. Oh. This one's all by himself. He's the number one. Show me one. That's it. Number one. Oh, now we're getting to some of the bigger numbers. Wow. Do you know which one this is? Sometimes we can get it confused with this number because if you turn it upside down, it looks the same, right? But when we have the arms stretched up high, it's our number six. Can you show me the number six? You're going to need two hands. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, two hands. We're getting to some big math now, guys. How about this one? It's a lucky number. Lucky number seven. Good job. Just like the six, we need two hands. So I'm going to need your help. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, don't put any extra up. Just what you need. We're almost to the biggest number. But we're back to that tricky number that almost looks like a six, right? But when it has the legs pointing down, it's a number nine. Let's see if you can count all the way to number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That thumb is still hanging out, right? We have to wait for number 10 to have all of our fingers up. But oh, look what I have here. We have one, two digits. We have a one and a zero that make up 10. I need your help to make 10 fingers Fly up. You ready? Let's see how many. I think we need a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all of them. Five fingers on this hand. Five fingers on this hand. Put them all together. You get ten. Great job. So I'm going to have a separate video just to read you our story of 10 apples on top. So make sure that you check after circle time to see that story being read to you. But before I forget, I hope you were able to see our videos from yesterday. They were underneath our circle time video and it started introducing the letter U. U is very fun. As Hudson says, it's a smiley face letter. So it's a lot of fun to write. And if you do a good job, you might be able to make a cool smiley face as well. So don't forget to practice your use at home. Mom and dad can help you make the little dots and then eventually you can do it all by yourself. So how do we do it? Our uppercase, our big U, goes down, around, and back, up. And Hudson always calls it the smiley face because you can make eyes on top to make it look like a smiley face. The U is a little bit the same, but it has a leg like our letter A. It's going to go down, around, and make a letter, like a letter A, the legs that we have there, so that way our U doesn't roll away. Okay? Don't forget, our U's are a vowel, so they're really cool and they get two sounds. It says its name, U, like a unicorn, and it also makes a sound like, ah, uh, an umbrella. So as you're practicing this week, Try to remember our U and our U uh sound for umbrella. And maybe mom and dad, you can hide letter U's around your house and they can go on a letter hunt. You can keep it on the same colored piece of paper and write an uppercase and a lowercase U, or you can use different colored papers to make it harder. 
make it challenging, and the kids will have a lot of fun hunting for a long time. Alrighty. And before I go, I just want to let you know that I love you guys so much. I know you're working so hard at home. Um, as you're reading your, your book, I suggest you get ready some manipulatives like little toy cars or little bears, stuffed animals, anything that you can get ready to read our book with. Because you can have the children counting the whole time as you're reading the story and reinforce those math skills. All right. And don't forget, everyone, when you're counting, you have to touch each object, right? Don't just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. You're going to count one and touch, two and touch, three and touch. And you know what? If you do a really good job, you can send me some pictures or even video. That would be wonderful. And I'll see you a little bit later with more fun goodies.